Uh, welcome to DJ NYC episode three. Yenzer and I were talking about something, and it's just too good. Uh, f- this is why you have to get the video, folks. This yeah. shirt that he's wearing right now is so tough, bro. Also, are you good to record? I just sort of hit yeah. go. I'm good. I'm good. Can you hear me? Yeah, you sound good. Yeah, you can hear me. Yeah, we're good. Dude, that shirt is so tough. For those that, uh, for the radio listeners at home, it's a Missouri shirt with the O R I is like etched out and it just says miss you bro miss you bro. you know it's so funny i've actually worn this shirt i've actually worn this shirt and i've actually seen an x in it and like there's like it, it's other it's like a cool shirt to begin like people are like oh you know miss you and like and then there's like other girls that are like like i've had people come up like did you go to missouri and i'm like oh my god you can't. <laughs> listen listen bro we've we've heard it we've said it you can't save them all you, you can't, can't hey, save them all. hey don't save her she don't want to be saved she don't want to be saved. Look at this. Look at this line right here. Bro. Look at this. I got cleaned up for the first real pot of the year, bro. Dang, bro. You look yes. good. Yes, Sersky. Yes, Sersky. Bro. Bro, bro, I'm so fired I'm sorry. Up. I'm, so fired I'm sorry up. I can't be your man. She's a fucking fan, bro. She's I'm sorry. She's fan. a fan. Redacted fan. Hit sorry, the lights. Hit a... the lights. Hit the lights. <laughs> bro, how excited for week zero are you? I'm so pumped, bro. I literally, so a comedian buddy of mine went to Nebraska. Yeah. And I was talking about like, oh, are you excited for the game? Like Saturday, you guys are in Dublin Mm -hmm. playing a big, your only Big Ten conference win last year, Northwestern. Are you excited about it? And he was like, didn't even know we were playing. That's the state of Nebraska football right now. Alumni don't even realize when they're playing. He told me some stuff about, he told me some stuff about Scott Frost, bro. Save it. You want me to save it? We're going to save it for Nebraska. We're going to. We're gonna get into Nebraska. Listen, right, Nebraska's right, gonna be right. mentioned. This yeah. will be might be the only time Nebraska is the feature game of the week. Sorry, this, Cornhuskers, this, but well, this is it. I don't even know if it's the feature game because my favorite game of the week, mm, it's not that one. It takes place in a, in a different uh, midwestern city, and I got a great disgusting. nickname for the coach, and it's gonna catch on. And honestly, I think we should sell T-shirts because it's it's a fire idea. I'm not lying. Wow. To you. The merch stand is just busting right now. The, the merch, merch stand is the busting. merch is bang. Boston, dude. We but, get a miss you. We get a miss you hoodie. Obo, Obo I, 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 I told I saw you. Drake. I saw Drake wear this shirt on Twitter, and I scrambled so fast to buy it. I was fanboying so hard to get this <laughs> shirt, bro. bro nobody uh, loves nobody loves getting in their feelings more than me. Oh, bro, that's what we do here, bro. We get in our feelings. We get Ooh. sad. It's fun to get sad sometimes. When I'm all alone in my jail cell, right? no, I tend to get in my feelings, dude. Uh, Honestly, I think we should market at the show more towards women. So us getting in our feelings is great. They love it. Because I was they talking to a comedian it. buddy today of mine, and he was like, dude, he was like, women buy things. Men just talk about things. It's true. And I'm like, dang. Like, I got to I just got to go all in and trying to get a, a, a vast female audience. Can we get one of the real housewives on the show? There's, we got to be able to get a connection. I, got, I know a guy that was uh, worked production for uh, Real Housewives of New Jersey. Get him on. Well, get him on right now. Guest number one for me would be Andy Cohen. That's actually. Oh, we love Andy Cohen. I love Andy Cohen. Dude. He's a salty bitch. We love him. He's the man. We We went to, I was at Dead and Company, the, the, you know, John Mayer, Grateful Dead. uh, And Andy Cohen went out there and introduced the band. It was so sick. Anyways, we, how are we opening up the show? We're three and a half minutes in. We're, we haven't talked about anything. Let them, let them know what's going on in the stand up world. Let them know where they can find you, buddy. Uh, I've been doing a lot of shows. I'm all over the city. I got a bunch of shows this week with some, uh, with some really cool folks that are also on the show, but they're not, people aren't there for me. They're there for those folks. And I just happen to be on it, which is fine. Um, I, I just want to be really good and getting on stage as much as possible is the only way to do that and writing. So, uh, follow me on Instagram, Franco's world underscore. I post my dates on there all the time. I've become less of a Twitter guy and definitely more of an Instagram guy now. That's the way. That's the world, man. Stay hungry, stay humble. We love that. I just tell you that every week, man. We're just gonna we're gonna keep stay plugging hungry, away. Stay humble. We love it, but but bro, I mean, you know, I'm fired up. It's week zero. Can you see? Can you see the smile on my face? Can you can you hear it? Can you hear the smile? How happy I am. The football. You're like a kid is on Christmas. I'm, I'm, dude. It's listen. Win, lose, or draw. Football's back. The wait is over. I mean, fall's coming. It's great. I'm so fired up, and and honestly, dude, I'm ready to rip through these picks. Uh, I'm just going to go through what we got today. I know the first episode was all college football. Yep. The second episode was barely any college football. Yep. But it's going to be a little mesh of the two, a little muddle huddle, get it together. Tell them what's up, yeah. Yenzi F, baby. What's the F4 this week? Oh, the F? I'm so glad you asked. You know what the F's for today? 
financial independence because that is what you're gonna get today bro you're gonna tell you you can put your two weeks in today just call your boss and say i don't think i'm gonna be there in mid-september uh i think yinzy f baby's gonna take me to the promised land you know what you're gonna be able to tell people when they ask you if you're rich you're gonna be able to look at them real snobby and just go we're comfortable mm, that's we're such comfortable. a comfortable Dude, that's your the level. That's the level of money we're trying to get you to, folks. Comfortability, <sighs> generational wealth. That's what we're setting up here, bro. I just want the Nasdaq to be called the Frankie Dimes Cast. That's all oh, I want. Stop, stop, stop it. You're so stop. huge, buddy. No, you think you're huge. Stop. stop. You're just, you're, you're no, you're you just so be. huge. Okay. <laughs> How are we start? All right, tell me the rundown. Okay, here's what I think we're gonna start today. Uh, Listen, I think we're going to start off a little broad corner. I know I got something. I know you got something. Yep. We're going to jump into the picks. We got some great picks. Um, and also, guys, the reason we're dropping a day later is, you know, we're not lazy. We're just trying. We got to get in the lab. So if these lines are coming out on Monday, sometimes late Monday. Yeah, the lines are good. You guys on, might have different odds. Yeah. Sometimes we want to make sure we get you the best odds. So we want to take a day or two to look at these picks and actually give you picks that are winners. We can't guarantee we're going to win every time, but we're going to give you the best info. And we're really going to work hard. Uh, you know, the meat of the show is winning, you know, cash and tickets, cash and slips. So I think we're going to be dropping Thursdays. Um, that'll give you enough time to get your bets in. I yep. still think Friday, Saturday is enough time. Yep. But broad corner picks, uh, guys being dudes. Um, and I think we'll just kind of wrap it up. You know, we'll kind of rotate topics in and out. We were really heavy on the DJ corner. It's not like we haven't Ooh, been DJ. I, I read the rundown. I really love uh, the guys being dudes this week. Dude, that's going to be a long segment. Uh, yeah, been, that one might actually be 15 minutes. So Yeah, we've been we've been teasing that for a while. But uh, for all the guys in our group chat that ask us on the pod when they're going to get featured, it's finally time because – we wouldn't be here without that group chat. So, you know, we got to, we got to our friendship. Our, that's, that was the inception yeah. of our friendship was that group Whenever chat. Was we it, all matched. Was it, was it, we, we all matched and yeah. we went on a men's retreat to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think that's what we should call it. I like men's retreat. The men's retreat. I like a men's retreat. Listen, whatever it was, it was, uh, it was one of the most electric weekends of my entire life. And I think we've had some lifelong friendships that'll never get broken. Fo- I still look at the photos and watch the videos of it. Like, bro, I mean, it's, it's, it was yeah. just it, to have, you know, eight, nine guys that have never met each other and just mesh. And like, you know, you can't, you can't buy the type of chemistry. No, it just, you can't it just coach happens. that. You can't coach you that. Can't like, coach it. no, that's and, the type of stuff when you, when you put a collective unit like that and yeah. you're just like, all right, we're, we're just going to let these, let these guys work. Dude, and everybody had a role to play, and we're going to go into that. We're going to play, you know, we're going to touch on group chat roles, maybe not this episode, but we're going to touch on group chat roles because, listen, you can't have seven MJs and no, no Pippen. No, 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 no. You got to have role players. You got to have you got to have get back guys. You got to have the guys that settle the group chat down, get them realigned. But Yep, absolutely. Um, without so let's further get, let's ado, Let's get a start bro. in Broad Corner. Ooh. Let's go down bro. to Broad Street. Let's go down to Broad Street. Broad Street bullies. There's Huggins in the back just straight crushing a bone again. Um. <laughs> But uh, start us off, bro. Let us know what's going on in the in the, in the uh, broad corner of your world. No, my broad corner played off yours. I'll kick us off. Yeah, I'll kick us off then. So my broad corner, kind of unique one, and um, this one really, this is just a matter of you know how this is. Just, I think the really what we're going to take from this, just be yourself. If you're oh. a weird dude, just be a weird dude. Like you don't ever want to start out in a relationship or start out with somebody, even if you're just talking to somebody. You don't want to start out portraying you somebody you're not because they're going to find out, and then it's just going to be a letdown. Listen. Bro, he's got a weird ham today on that. But, dude, at the end of the day, I'm a weird dude. Like, I'll say yeah. some wild shit. Like, you know that's common. Yeah. And so I was just up there. For people who don't know, I work for a property management company, so I'm always dealing with people in and out all day. So helping this one girl out, we're just walking up there, just bullshitting, kind of just going back and forth. And we're talking about, you know, where we're from. I told her I'm from Pittsburgh. Now, whenever you think of Pittsburgh, you're thinking of, like, the Steelers. You're thinking Rivers. You're thinking Heinz Ketchup. But, of course, the one thing I'm going to talk about, being a lifelong Yinzer, is is anthrocon which is the furry convention so like that is where i like that's where i live like i could have gone a hundred ways like i could have been like, oh yeah oh yeah you know the Steelers, lots of bridges oh it's we have you know mount washington but i was like i was just talking to her and like i have this girl kind of cornered because like she can't leave because i'm like helping her out with something so like it's kind of like the it's kind of like the always sunny like because of the implication like she needed me for something and like the tape i had the dynamic the power i feel predatory saying this but it wasn't like that I swear it wasn't like that. Okay, she could have left at any time. If I have to, if I have to get her to verify that, that, that she was fine at any time. But, um, so <laughs> I was talking wellness about check. yeah, wellness check. So I'm just like talking about furries real quick, and like, <laughs> and we're just kind of talking. Furries. She's not not into it. Like, she's definitely gave me like a few like courtesy laughs, which I was like, oh, thank you. And then this is when I got her hooked because I was like, 
do you know what they call like a furry calls their costume? Because it's not don't call it a costume. That's oh. like Vince McMahon. That's like Vince McMahon gets super mad when you call the title a belt. Like, <laughs> like he gets super mad about that. Like you can't if you go up to a furry. And first of all, and this is my thoughts on furries, and we'll talk about it. Dude, every furry I've met, because I met a lot because I was in Pittsburgh. Listen, they just want to go and get real freaky weird. And at the end of the day, I think we feel the same boat. If what you're doing is not hurting anybody, God bless you. Go be weird. Like, wow. you know, if wow. what you're doing is, if you like to dress up and, and go hump a bunny, you know, that that's some, you know, dude working on a tattoo parlor, like, go ahead. You're not hurting anybody. Yeah. There's too many people yeah. doing awful shit to other people and too many people legislating what other people do. You know, just whatever makes you happy, bro. I, 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 I know. Do, I do like the fact that these folks keep their identities hidden because I don't know if I could trust the guy at T-Mobile when he's dressed up like a wolf. But but here's the deal. So they don't call this. They don't call them costumes. You know what? You know what a furry's costume is called? What? It's called a fur sona. Okay. That's what it's called. I I understand. That's what it's called. Yeah, but it's not okay. Let me. It does. It's not just the outfit. It's like the entire thing. Like the fursona uh, and captures the whole thing. Oh, okay. So you're and, saying they make up like backstories for these characters? Yeah. There's like it's like okay. a it's like yeah the backstory the costume what they're into but that's what a fursona is and so i dropped Wait, that on oh, this girl okay. i was like oh yeah these people just have like mental illness yeah, they just have personality they got- disorders <laughs> listen sometimes you just want to dress as a sometimes you want to dress as a wolf okay i mean that's and- fine that's fine but like they're no okay so they're cosplaying being a schizophrenic that's what this is that's what they're cosplaying they're not cosplaying animals they're cosplaying oh i have multiple personalities what they're, f- and- <laughs> they're cosplaying being Insane. Hey, it's ha- it's Halloween every day for him. But for the for the broad corner part of this, it's for the broad Halloween corner part of this. So, so here's the deal. I'm talking to this girl about. I've already dropped fursona, which is a huge red flag. I've already yeah. known way too much about her. This she this, did have this to girl ask. Thinks you're dressing up as Iceberg, the Penguins mascot. She respect. <laughs> Shout out Paw Patrol. She respectfully asked me. She was like, "So are you a furry?" I was like, "No." And like, but no. What made you like, say that? Why would you ask that? Why would you ask if I'm a furry? I was like, all right, what are you into that? Cause, cause then I'm like at home just like, and then you dude, your furry outfit would just be like a bunch of icy, icy light cans and duct tape. And you're... <laughs> just be, it would just be like, it would just be like a bunch of iron city cans and like, and a, like, pillow, a, sh- and like a pillow, and like a shitty Halloween mask, like a, just a shitty hockey mask. You, you would wear like, that. You would wear like the scream mask that squirted blood that kids who had two Christmases always wore. You know wow. what I'm talking about? That was such a tough middle school outfit. Bro. Yeah, that was but you also spent pump. weekends at a different house if you wore that outfit. I came, I came from a loving home that had the blood pumping mask. So I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll dive into that <laughs> later. Okay. But so, so I'm talking to this girl and we're going back and forth and I'm like, you know what I was like? I was like, and then after I talked about furries for like 15 minutes and a whole bunch of other weird shit, I think at one point I was talking about like negging girls to get their number. I left and I was like, well, I'm never going to talk to her again. That was great for me. Yeah. But you know what happened? A couple hours later, check the phone, little IG follow. Ooh, not bad. Ended up going a digit. What, and, and what that could have been though was, all right, I'm going to look you up to make sure you are a furry and then uh, maybe hmm. a slip of the thumb and then a follow oh shoot i can't take that back hmm, hmm. well now i'm gonna have a complex but that's fine we're just gonna yeah. keep we're just gonna well, work no, it I'm, through just this. To, I'm just here to i'm you're giving logic and you're giving reason. the audience point of view yeah you and, ben, you live in banana land logic and reason hey, that's fine all i'm saying is and this is what i'm talking about broad corner is like in this the name of this should have just been like why is yinzer still single because like you know instead of like going up to a girl and just being like you know, just like, just being a normal dude. I'm like, yeah, it's called, it's like the meme where the dude's pulling the girl really close to the baseball <laughs> game. And I'm like, yeah, it's called a fursona, but it's also their personality as well. But at the end of the day, here's where I'm just going to go. And like I said, we're just, you know, just bullshitting. Yeah. If you can go up to girl and talk about a fursona for 20 minutes and she's still into it, like that's a vibe check. That means you can bring like weirder shit to the table. Yo, let's catch like, that a means vibe she, at the, at the fur, furry convention. And, and she might, listen, she might be able to peek in the group chat every once in a while, but I don't know, her face might melt like uh, like Indiana Jones. <laughs> five minutes into it. What's that called? The Ark of the Covenant or something like that? <laughs> the one girl, remember the one the, the one wife of the chat looked at it one time and I and we saw her the one day and I was like, and we're, we're not going to say her name. We're like, you saw the podcast or we saw the uh, group chat, right? She was like, you're all sick, sick, disgusting men. She was like, my husband shouldn't be in there with you. Good. So like, Get him you know, out. Good. Good. Remove him. I'm just kidding. Yeah. We love you. But uh, no, I think I think we're just saying, you know, listen, I think we took last week's episode was, you know, if she's not feeling it, punt. I think this week's episode is 
if you're just going to be a weird dude and they're into it, just roll with it. Like, yeah. it, you know, it, I mean, Listen. and also it, it kind of coincides. Okay. So I have been a little mean to the furry community and I didn't really mean to be, but it sounds apologize. like apologize to us. I mean them. <laughs> it sounds like here I go impression mode. We're not so different, you and I. <laughs> Me and the furries. Because it sounds like the furries and I also, we're like air raid. We're the air raid offense. Except like we have different trees. You know what I mean? We each have yeah. we each have like four plays. We've loved mm-hmm. them and learned them. And then we use them. And if they don't wow. work, then that's fine. But yeah. most of the time they do work, you know? And so for them, them, they're just like a different iteration of the air raid. I'm like Dana Holgerson. And they're, I don't know. uh What's the guy that got fired from Texas Tech? Matt Wells. Matt Wells. If, if Holds was a furry, what kind of animal do you think he'd be? Uh, Red Bull. A bull. Uh, I'd be, uh, if, uh, if I were a furry, I'd be a bull. I think he'd be. I think he'd be like a like a rabid raccoon, just a trash panda. <laughs> uh, that, that's peak off season content. Me and you were arguing over what kind of furry Nick Saban would be. <laughs> Yo. Like, if we broke down coaches as far as like what furries they would be, that would be incredible. Nick Saban would be like an eagle. Nick Saban he would for be. sure be an eagle. Something very regal. That's that's peak yeah. offseason comment. We got we'll save that. But, yeah. Um. But whereas, yeah, bro. I mean, whereas was, like Ed, whereas like Sam Pittman is an actual feral hog. Dude, Sam Pittman is an actual hog. Like yeah. we love that. But, Sam Pittman's huge in a good way. I mean, but listen, at the end of the day, you got to respect your boy for one digging him a hole and digging his way out. Yeah. In proud the same of you, thing. Bro. So, Tough times don't last. Tough people do. Sometimes the good guys win. We'll never, you know, sometimes. That's right. Uh, For my broad corner, it's sort of to backpack off of what you just said. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about like kinks and stuff like that. Like sexual kinks. (laughs) And. Fire away. Like they say we shouldn't kink shame anymore. I think there's a lot of kinks out there that are like really weird. You know, there's some like. But, like, kinks are inherited from stuff in, like, your childhood or something like that. And if you don't properly address it, it can become pretty weird. And it's okay to make fun of these things, honestly. Like, mm-hmm. I am a tall, skinny guy. I happen to like really tall, skinny women. Like, I really just want bones clanking up against each other when we're hooking up. That's all I want. And, like, a Jack Skellington movie. I don't know. But that's, that's, really, that's really all I want. And I and you're, like, you're just every night just going on Pornhub, like, night before Christmas porn parody. Yeah. And... The thing is, you're allowed to make fun of me for that. I think that's fine. Yeah. You're like, Franklin, why do you only like models? And it's like, I don't know, because we both have eating disorders. Like, that's <laughs> like, we just have relatable, like, we can relate on that. You know, I can't relate to somebody who's going to saddle up at the Sizzler Buffet. I can't. You know, I can relate to the woman that eats two wheat thins and a glass of vodka. We're relatable. Listen, I'll, I'll feed you up, baby. Get that second plate. I still love you. Wow. Um, but there's a lot of weird kinks out there. Like, uh, I remember there was one time on like TLC used to show this stuff in like the early oh, yeah. 2000s. They used to the show the learning stuff. channel. Yeah. I learned a lot, a lot before I should have. And they had one where like some guy's kink was like balloon popping. Bro, this oh, dude yeah. was literally like getting off like on TLC, like on camera. Like he went to some like underground dark speakeasy thing and he blew like. And he blew it up himself. That was a thing. And of course, he like, and he like his thing was huge. And he's like, when I felt that pop, oh, it was like a massive release. And now that I'm older and looking back on it, I was like, that dude like got off on camera. Do you do you think do you think if he ever goes to like a hot balloon festival, that's like the AVN awards for him? Like, do you think <laughs> oh, he's yeah. pointing out starlets? And he's just like, and he's like, you guys gonna you guys gonna take that thing up? And he's like, how many people are you gonna fit in that basket? Does that mean so in this world? Does that mean balloon animal creators are like BDSM for him, like tying it up? Wow, I, <laughs> we don't have enough time to get in. That's we need a whole thirty minutes on that. With a make me a bicycle clown. What? What? Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Why are you yelling? At Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> no, but that was that was like yeah, they would have that on TLC where the people would have like the weirdest. The weirdest like, king. Like people would wear like leather and stuff like that. And like some, some guy would just be like getting stomped on for like an hour with his like face covered in a latex max. And they'd be like, oh my God, are you okay? And he'd be like, you're on good. Why? And then like, <laughs> like, like why'd you stop? Out. Yeah. He's like, I'm which fine. Is, which is weird because my biggest kink is, is just being cared about. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
Dude. I was just waiting for you. I was just waiting for you to hear it. I can't. I can't. <laughs> My biggest kink. Yeah. Having a big heart. Wow. My Dude, biggest if kink. A girl on hinge. Oh, here we go. And <sighs> here we go. If a girl on hinge, fellas out there, uh, yeah. and ladies, you also appreciate this because I understand. If a woman on a dating app opens up like her first thing in like her bio talks about. I want a, a partner who has good communication skills. She's looking for a husband, which is fine, but that's what she's looking for. So don't waste her time or your time if you're not into that. Communication equals long-term relationship. Thank you. Drop mic. I feel like Frank, like Frank the Tank Big. Anytime I go on one of those like tangents and I just deliver a like period stop fact, I always feel like frank the tank in old school when he's just like what happened i blacked out what happened blacked out well we're gonna go right from that beautiful advice to just being a degenerate gambler because what's better to follow up in that um i know we're gonna be doing listen it's week zero guys it's slim pickings okay there's not a lot to go on here so we're gonna probably have a lot of the same games which we won't every week but when there's only like six games to choose from, oh, put on the glasses. Wow. That's right. Yeah, I did. I do wow. have to put on the glasses because I'm going to look at the phone. I have to put on wow. the glasses. Wow. We only got like six games, but um, Frankie, we're going to be doing this one, two, three, four, five unit plays. Guys, if you hear a five unit play, pause the podcast and go bet it because it's going to be moving. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, play, I don't have any five unit plays this week. I don't have any fives either. Uh, I think the tops I have is a three unit play. I have a but, two. I have a two unit. Okay. I have a three. I think I have two threes. And honestly, but, Yenzer, don't tell the people, but I might have to steal one of your picks. You can steal one, buddy. You can steal one. Because that's what it's all about, really, is like we want to make what well, we're like. We're not. Yes, we are competing for something. And I haven't told yeah. you what it is, but we are competing for something. And like, so there's that. But like, also, we want to win money. And if somebody we knows something, we're not like we're in this business together. We're a team here. There's no ego. We were talking about that the other day, Jens, or you yeah. and I, about the yeah. show and how it's doing so yeah. well in the in the charts and we how love it. so many people are downloading it. It's because there's no ego with us. Yeah. We're not stealing pick for Sharon. Like we understand like I like I you I know you're self aware. I'm very self aware of like what I look like and what I sound like. Like I'm yeah. a moron. I'm an idiot. Mm-hmm. I'm a skinny I get reminded. I'm a skinny idiot. I get reminded every morning. Yeah, and I just, you know what? And I say, I, you guys don't have to look in that mirror. I do. Every day. And I'm the one I'm saying, listen, all I got are these picks. And that's all I'm going to share with the people. That's all I got. That's all I got. I do but, what it uh, takes to get to the end of the day because I'm from Queens. Shut up. Remember, real quick side of the look at the picks. Remember when I went to visit you in New York and I would just be in every different borough and just yelling BK stand up at people? Yeah, yeah you did do that. You that was my the, favorite part of New York. You were in the upper that, side, like the furthest <laughs> neighborhood from Brooklyn. And you're like, BK, stand up. I'm in like Williamsburg. I'm like, where BK at? Where my dog's at? We're in the middle. We're, we're in the middle of like a little, like, we're like the bakeries. I was like, yo, where Rucker at, fam? Where Rucker but, uh, at? Yeah. I that think would do well up there. I would. And I kept talking about gunplay, which you told me to stop doing, but I refused to. Yeah. So Yenzer was meeting my roommates and they didn't understand him. Yenzer also was on performance enhancing drugs and (laughs) dabbled. And, uh, but you know, you couldn't test him for it. It was international waters. Couldn't prosecute him. And good luck. (laughs) He was just like going bananas. First off, he kicked my ass in Madden. And then, uh, And then he, <laughs> it was like that scene in Chappelle's show when Chappelle plays video games with a kid with cancer. And he's like, pick up the sticks, man. Come on. Pick up your sticks, Frank. You pick up your sticks. You're like, I don't want to play no more. I'm like, pick up your sticks, man. <laughs> the best was just meeting all your roommates. And they were like, hey, what's up? I'm so-and-so. I'm like, what's up, playboy? And then I would just go reach in my waistband real slow. And he'd be like, stop doing that. Yeah. I, I, mean, like, I had to tell my, I had to vet all my roommates. Like we had a big Halloween party. I think it was Halloween. And we yeah, I had to like vet everyone at the door and be like, hey, the very large guy in like the Jules Santana <laughs> t-shirt, he's going to act like he has a firearm. He does not have a firearm. All right. <laughs> he's just, you know, that's his, that's his going up there. I'd be like going up to a girl. I'd be like, is this dude bothering you? And she's like, he's my husband. I was like, he couldn't. I was like, he could be your ex-husband. Then I would just like reach slowly into my <laughs> waist. Just man. Reach into the waist, bro. Yo, that's crazy. Like, you can fight because I got this piece right here. That's crazy. I was like, that's bro. I was like, oh, you a, I was like, yo, you a sprinter at Syracuse? Can you outrun bullets, playboy? Wow. The dude was like, Ooh. We hate Syracuse bro. here. Bro. I got shooters in DC. Rowdy Beal. Shorty thick. She, she said she ain't missing no meals. Dang. Hey, you yeah, told the so story hard. like Shoddy was feeling you. She told the story like she split the bill with you. Tell oh, wow. him. 
Dude, people love white dudes uh, spitting bars. That's why they come here. That's what I. Yeah, that's what all. Yeah, that's what all yeah, the reviews. They like when white guys appropriate things. All right, so yeah. we're on to the culture picks. vulture, baby. We're coming culture vulture. All right, so here's the deal, Yenzer. Yeah. <laughs> Eagles up. <laughs> we can't get into that. We can't get into that right now. But King Powder. All right. Um, King. <laughs> the Battle of the Cool Modi concert. This podcast is going bananas. Yeah, Which this is so off the rails. At already. the Battle of the Cool Modi concert. All right, enough Chappelle show references. All right. Okay. So, Yenzer, I told you we were playing for something. Here's the deal, yeah. folks. Yenzer and I, both West Virginia grads. Uh, in yep. fact, today I was listening to the W Band on Spotify, and I got oh, a little teary eyed when Simple Gifts came on. Bro, so do I. That's such a good song. It's so good. Dude. I like to refer. I actually jokingly refer to myself as the pride of West Virginia. So I feel like I feel like I get to borrow that at times. You, that. oh wow, that's wow, dude, that's crazy that you said that on the show, man. The pride, yeah. you're, I'm the, I'm the pride, baby. Oh wow, <laughs> of West Virginia. <laughs> Yenzer's pride, everyone, give it up for Yenzer's we pride. We stayed so on the rails the first two episodes. This episode was bound to just go completely haywire. We knew that. <laughs> But it's like, good though it's I good mean, though it is it is it is haywire but it is good i was listening we, that's to shut down full cast today ah uh, so you got all fired up all and right we're not doing the podcast at like two in the morning so we're not exhausted whenever we do this also true but, where we're like let's just get it done let's just get let's just we're only 26 out. minutes no, in bro we have to do like 45 we we're fine we're good let's get some picks bro i want all you right, to start right, here's, off. here's what we're playing for here's what we're playing oh for. yeah let all them right, know let them know all right, oh, no. Yenzer and I, both West Virginia grads, alumni. We love the state. We love the school. We love everything about it. We both cried in 2007, one fateful night, a night that which we should not speak. And I thought it'd be a very funny thing to do because I am sick in the head. If whoever has a worse record at the end of the year uh, is the loser, they have to sit and watch that 2007 football game against Pitt in its entirety, live stream it, and you have to watch the reaction. Am I allowed to drink or do any other substances during the game? It is preferred. I'm stay sober. I am? I'm allowed to get anything. No, you don't have to okay. watch it stone sober. Dude, I'm just going to be honest. I've never watched a minute of that game from that, and I feel like there? I'm good. I feel like if I lose, I will be just catatonic during the entire thing. Like, I feel like I have, like, the flashbacks, but... <laughs> Like I'm that is the to, worst like, punishment. Orange your eyeballs open to watch. You're gonna have to. That is the worst punishment I can literally think of. Like, if I was on, if I was on like Fear Factor, and that was the final one, I'd be like, can I just go eat those like pigs' testicles instead? Like, is there anything else I can do instead of that? But dude, that's that's a brutal yeah. So punishment. for all the pit fans out there, and I'm no, and I know there's many of them. Uh, the you we, should we also can. yeah. You could also tune into the live stream and watch us relive hell on earth. So it's it's fun for the whole family. I, w- I read something today about the Pitt-West Virginia rivalry and that it's just like, we hate that we love each other. Pitt and Penn State, they hate each other. Like, it's a stupid rivalry because Penn State doesn't care. Pitt and West Virginia, yeah. we hate We love that we get to hate each other. Oh, 100%. Is, it is such an underrated rivalry on the national scale because if you understood the absolute hatred and the absolute just, like, malice you see at these games, like, it's, I can't wait for I'll, I'll be at the game. I'll be in the stadium in a couple weeks. Uh, I've been preparing bail money for years, so wow. I'm ready to go. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, uh, I've, we haven't figured it out if it's going to be units or record. I imagine it'd probably be units, right? Yeah, probably units because it's, it's a gambling podcast. So it's not a it's not a picks it's a, podcast. It's a gambling podcast. It's gambling it's so it's going to be whoever's, whoever has more units at the end of the year gets to survive. All right. So so let's start us off. Let's start us off. Um, also, this random guy I found on Instagram or, or Twitter says, uh, I don't know what research you did, but if West Virginia win, wins nine games, I'll do heroin on Instagram live. So I have this screenshot and I sent to all my buddies because when, if West Virginia somehow wins nine games, like I'm going to like watch a guy do heroin. Yeah. Like I'm going to send this, like I'm going to re I'm going to repost this tweet and be like, like spark up like that spoon's getting hot. Like, Frankie's just gonna be like tying his arm ready for it. Frankie's gonna be like a DJ NYC production. Yeah, like, dude, I'm a man of honor. If you have the gumption to say this, you gotta do you it. You wanna see it. Yeah. You wanna see it come through. I, I can't disagree with you. I All really right, so, can't. That's uh God, Twitter's a dark place. Though. It is, it is. So what's your first pick, buddy? Sorry for going off. My the first pick. My first pick. So I'm gonna start out with all my one unit plays. My first one unit play, 
Uh, I'm going to take Illinois. I'm going to take Illinois minus 11. Wow. Um, I got one unit. These, I'm going one unit on this. And the thing is, I don't really – I don't really believe in this Wyoming team. We touched on it in week. I think we barely touched on it in our first week. We were talking about um, why I like the Air Force so much. Wyoming is not returning almost any production. Illinois uh, returning some pretty decent production. They got a new quarterback, new offensive coordinator. They got the OC from, uh, I think they got the OC from Pitt, right? Whipple? They got Whipple, right? Um, no. No? That's Who? Uh, oh, that's uh, that's Nebraska. I'm getting my, I'm getting, yeah, that's Nebraska. See, I'm jumping in. No, but Illinois coming through. I like, uh, I just I don't know. I feel like I like the defense, but this is more of a play where I don't think Wyoming's gonna get to twenty points. I don't think Wyoming's gonna get to seventeen points. I even looked at team totals under for Wyoming. But give me Illinois. I think I don't think they're gonna be coming out of the gates crazy. I don't think it's gonna be a 30, 40 point victory, but I think they're easily gonna win by two touchdowns. Give me Illinois minus eleven. Uh but just one unit, a very small just play. One. I'm not gonna full bore on this. I like so that. This I like that. This is a this is a lunch, lunch, you know, lunch money, dinner money play for me. I like that. My first pick is a two unit. I don't have many picks because it's week zero. It's week zero. So my first pick is a two unit pick. And my first pick is also in the champagne room. Champagne poppy. Ch- champagne poppy, bro. Champagne poppy. That's a new nickname I'm giving to Brett Bioma. I love it. I think it's great. I think we should sell t-shirts. It's a fantastic nickname. Uh, I messed up. I got it at 12 and a half so okay. i still leave if you believe in 11 you believe in 12 and a half you're not crossing any numbers we that's don't not hate a like 13, big, three, that's seven, not a 10, big number one. thing so no. so i have two units on it right there 12 and a half um i love the Illini in this one i think there's a lot more cohesion this year uh second year in bioma system they're all going to be together uh again like yenzer said not returning a ton of production for wyoming and no. um uh, it's it's probably the only game out here that has like a clear favorite with like a tangible number. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's the only game out there where it's like, yeah, that's probably the one. Yeah. And that's even, uh, and cause, I'm even definitely... cause even in, in Ireland, it's like, well, until Scott Frost does it, we can't believe in it. Mm-hmm. And there's, and we're going to touch on that game a little bit later too. So I know we're going to hit that. Um, my next game, the next thing that's going to get a little weird, which I don't know. I don't know if you're going to have this one's a two o'clock kick. I got New Mexico state plus nine. Wow. So, this is purely, and once again, this is week zero. We haven't Jerry seen these Kill teams play in, in New Mexico. Jerry State. Kill out there, which we know he's going to have him coached up. And this is mainly, in week zero, you, you sometimes aren't playing your guys. You're just fading the other team. Nevada's entire team last year, it's Carson gone. Strong, Romeo Dobbs, they're gone. They're, they're both gone. gone. That Nevada team was not very good outside of those two guys. Carson Strong was a fantastic uh, collegiate quarterback. He's gone, and you're asking me to give you a team, to give almost, I'm getting nine, so that might as well be ten points. And – Honestly, I wouldn't be mad at New Mexico State little little money line play, but if you're giving nine, it could be a sprinkle. I'm thinking about a sprinkle. We'll see how it feels. But at nine, give me New Mexico State. Nevada is not returning a lot of production, and whenever the over under, it's 49, so you're getting 10 points. So what they're telling you is New Mexico State gets to you know gets around 20, you're probably going to win that bet. So I think they can do it. I don't think Nevada is going to beat them by 10 plus points, and uh, just a one unit play right there because it's. New Mexico State in week zero. We're not going to get crazy. But give me New Mexico State, a one-unit play, plus nine. And like I said, guys, we are betting these odds, betting these lines when we're giving them to you. So it yeah. might fluctuate. They might change. Um, I know I've had one that has already moved a lot, but I'm giving it to you at the one I got it at because it's a three-unit play. Um, wow. Yeah. Dude, I don't give even know the, what it is. I'm actually curious yeah. what it is going to be. But give me New Mexico State plus nine, one-unit play. So I got two one-unit plays, and then I got two three-unit plays coming up. But You have two three-unit plays? I got two threes. Oh my god! I tried right, cheated uh, on one. You'll see. What's your What's your next play, dude? Bro, I might have to ride. Yo, we might have to ride with the mob on that, dude. Hom, dude, you're gonna get a text about that later. A little proxy action. Oh, word. Shut all down. right, copy, copy, copy. All yeah. right. So my next uh, pick is a one unit, and I'm not a, a, a parlay poppy, but um, this one, right. you like that? I love parlays. Yeah. Uh, well, Yinzer, Yinzer turned me on to the church of the two-team alt spread. Not teaser. Don't be confused with teaser, folks. It's not a teaser. It's a two-team oh. alt line parlay, mostly in the NFL because the numbers are like games always end in those the one-score games. But, tell, and tell them why we strictly don't do teasers. Tell them why. T- tell the people why we're not doing. Because just, we're when always- you tease, the only person you're teasing is yourself. Facts, bro. What Frankie's saying is teases are straight numbers, 6, 7, 10, 9. You know, you can only do it. But let's say you have one game you want to, that one game's like the team's favored by 11, 
And instead of bringing down that full seven, you can bring them down, you know, five and you're getting less juice and you're still getting the number you want. And the difference between a minus five and, or like a minus six and a minus four is really nothing, but you're paying so much extra juice on that. So it always pays to go to the alternate spreads, make your own selections instead of doing a straight teaser. You're going to get better odds. And let's say you think a team might win by 10. Instead of bringing them all the way down, you just bring them down a little bit. That's what he's talking about. And that is something that's really smart gambling. That's shopping for the number you want, not the number they give you. And we love that. So Frankie, I'm so glad you brought that up because that is huge, huge, huge. Give me your one unit alternate spread parlay. I'm really this is not an alternate spread parlay. Oh, okay. 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 This is just, this, this is just a parlay. Uh, okay. I did get a profit boost from DK and I used it on a four pick parlay. Uh, I have Illinois, which okay. has an asterisk saying it's parlay boost ineligible. So hot okay. start, hot start okay. there by me. And this uh, is money line, correct? Yeah, this is all money line. Uh, okay. Florida Atlantic. Don't believe in it. Okay. Money line. Vandy. I believe in that. Yep. They, they, they're like, their bowl game is just them going out to Hawaii for the first two weeks of the season. Yep. That's Vandy's bowl game. Might All be right? a spoiler for the next pick. And it, dude, there was this guy from Hawaii, and I don't know where the tweet is, but he said, he said, Vandy's not ready to come to Hawaii. He goes, the 9,000. <laughs> He said the 9,000 strong fans are going to sound oh, like 90,000. Did you see that? Did you see that the Hawaii Twitter page tweeted out that it was a sellout and was just getting roasted? I swear to God, it's still up there. They're like, they're like, today's game has been sold out, which is like, it's less, it's smaller than probably every high school Texas or high school football state in Texas. And they're bragging about it, which is, which is ridiculous. But yeah, uh, well, that's going to be a spoiler for my next pick. But go and ahead. Then, uh, and then the last leg of the par- and then the last yeah. leg of the parlay uh, is Nevada Wolfpack. Two words, two sweet. sweet. The Wolfpack is back. Well, you know what's good about that, Frankie? We, we can, can both, both win our bets so far. We, we can, can both, both win. win. So we're hoping for we're hoping for a New Mexico State uh, eight point or less uh, less loser. So yep. that's what we're hoping for, and that's and what we're talking about. That's where we're, that's where we're pulling in the same direction. Yeah, it's a, he's showing it to me right now. It's just sold out, which I thought There's was only the one thing left. To, bro, Brotherhood. Timmy Chang going to throw the ball around all over the place. We do love Timmy Chang, but I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to get it done. Yo, they're giving know. away these pretty sick boom whacker nightstick things. They're playing <laughs> in a field for ants. And yeah, it makes it's me so sad. Funny. It makes me sad because yeah. I like Hawaii football. They're also they're also broadcasting like ninety percent of the games on this app that I've never heard. What's like, the app? Check into that. I, I'll send it to you after. It's some app I've never heard of, but that's what they're putting the games on. So if you want your Hawaii after dark, you're gonna have to download a pretty sketchy app. But Yo, they released the Rainbow Warriors color schedule. Uh, game number one, you got to wear green. Game number okay. two, you can wear green or white. Game number three versus your hometown Duquesne Dukes. Oh, I got dude. I. I they I'm have to, there is a little Kelly Green. The, are the Kelly Bows Green? going throwbacks? No. Are the Bows going throwbacks week three against the Dukes? Oh, Duke, a lot of bad memories on Duquesne. That's gonna have, that's gonna be a broad corner episode. That'll be like a that'll be like a six hour episode. That'll be a <laughs> six episode. part documentary. Oh the God. last dance. You just oh, on the last the, dance. You just on top of that like freeway with some broad from Duquesne. I bet. Trust me, I've lived that life. Trust me. And that's my pick um, number two. I love it. And I have a parlay as well, but I'm not going to go that. My next three unit play is we've been, we've really been hitting it. It's Vanderbilt. I got it at seven. It's up to eight right now. Wow. I got it at seven. It's going to be a three unit play. And here's why. Whoa. Vanderbilt. Here's why. Listen, Vanderbilt, everybody's going to laugh. It's, it, it's going to be a little joke in the SEC. They know they're going to get stomped in the SEC. Correct. When Frankie said it was their Super Bowl, he was half joking, but really, they know that. And, and you know, Clark Lay has been talking a big game. He said he wants Vanderbilt to be the best program in the country. We'll see. But if you like want to talk optimism. like that, you're only going to talk like that when you think you have a team that can go out there and make some improvements. So I see them going out to Hawaii, a team that had so many transfers lost that yeah. really doesn't have yeah, an identity. Right. Yet. Yes, they're playing at home, but they're playing in front of less than 10,000 fans. Yeah. And plus, I know what you're going to say. Yinzer, Vandy's pr- you know, going across the country. They've been on. They've been in Hawaii for a week. They're acclimated. Yeah. They're ready to roll. Yeah. This game is one that they know they have to win. And they know they have to put this team away because they want to build some forward momentum. I think it's seven. I think this is going to be an easy victory. I don't see how Hawaii hangs with them. At the end of the day, Vanderbilt is still SEC football. And you know what, Frankie? It just means more. 
Dang. SEC football. So I'm taking Vandy minus seven, make it a three-unit play. I'd play it up to nine, nine and a half. I think it's a pretty easy double-digit victory. Um, I really like that. And that seems to be the play that the sharps and the squares are on together. Sometimes that's a bad thing. But usually in week zero, usually in week zero, you can get some value ahead of the books. Um, they're just not tight right now. Yeah. Know? Pretty much looser than your looser than your ex girlfriend on a trip with the girls to Miami, bro. Oh, shout, shout, out. shout out, VK. Settle down. Sorry. So you got it. You got it at what? I got it at seven. Dude, that's disgusting. What's it at now? Eight and a half. I just saw it at nine and a half. <sighs> Don't tell me I can't touch this now. No, no. You just just wait. It'll it'll buy back a little bit. But I'm telling you, that's the kind of steam I've been seeing, and that's why uh, you can check if you go I'm to like nine. Action Sports Network. I do if you go to Action Sports Network, you'll see the up and down. I would still bet it below 10. Um, no, it says know. like Action Network says it's at 8 on MGM. I go to MGM, it's 9.5. I don't know where they're getting that from. It's a DGNYC bump, bro. They knew it was common. <laughs> this haven't even dropped yet, and I'm getting screwed. It's even dropped yet, Dude, no, I love but... that. I don't have another pick. I actually do want to ride with you on, on Vandy, okay. though. So once can you I, ride with me? Can you ride with me on this next bet because you don't want to bet that number high number? Can you ride with me on this next bet? Yes. Let me put it out to you. So I'm going to do another three unit play. I'm going to do a parlay. Are we allowed to do parlays for, as our plays? I think we're allowed to because me and you bet parlays. I just did so one. Do, I just did one. Facts. I love it. So here's what I'm doing. I'm doing a three team alt spread parlay, which you were talking about. I thought you were going to go with one because I was going Ooh, with one. No. Here's what I'm doing. What book? What book? Um, DraftKings, this is going to be about plus 245 oh right my god. now. So plus oh my 245. God. Oh my God. I'm so uh, excited right now. Illinois minus seven. Oh my God. Nebraska money line. Okay. Vandy minus six. Okay. That's plus 245 right now. Now you have to make that yourself, but that's almost two and a half to one. Dude, that's and we're gonna, sexy. We're going to say this every day, but where does that lose? Where does, Where does that lose? lose? I'm trying to find. Lose? I'm trying to find the L in it. I oh, can't. Dude. I'm like the guy from Hunt for Red October. Like you just hear that radar just going around. Boop, boop. I can't find dude, it. I just, Frankie, I just watched that movie like a week and a half ago. I swear to God, that's us, bro. It's such a great movie. That's dude, us. I've been pulling crazy Ivans on the prop sheet boards, bro. Yo, but, yo, but and and like I said, pretty much we're running down. Vandy's bringing back 14 starters. Um, you know, they've been on the island for a week. You can't say you're the best team in the nation if you can't take care of Hawaii. That's one of the worst G5. So that's what we're on. And um, just a quick recap for everybody that's keeping them. And I will put this on Instagram. I said in week zero, I, I was going to. I did it. I swear to God, I'm going to put them up as soon as we go. Vandy minus seven, three unit play. New Mexico State plus nine, one unit play. Illinois minus 11, one unit play. Then I'm going to do my alt spread parlay. Illinois minus seven, Nebraska money line. Vandy minus six, plus 245. Three unit bomb. We love that. Frankie Dimes is coming in with a two unit play, Illinois plus, or excuse me, Illinois minus 13. Then he's going to do a one unit, one and a half, and a half, and the hook. He's going to do a one unit. Uh, he's got a profit boost, but you can bet it for yourself however you want to get it. Illinois money line, FAU money line, Vandy money line, Nevada money line. Yeah, that one's losing. I don't oh. even believe in that one. You're out? You're kicking it out? I don't even. I mean, I'm, I am I played it. I don't believe in it because FAU oh. could very well lose. Do you know Nikosi Perry's their quarterback? He's 24 years old. Was, was Tate Martell busy? He must not be. Tathan. But Tathan. Um, you know, I don't hate it. I, I have a little bit more confidence heading into week zero than you. But uh, we're going to see how we, we're going to see come week one uh, how we feel. But I think we're going to have some profit. But guys, lock those bets in. Get them in, and you know, at the end of the day, we have football to watch on Saturday. So, I'm trying to do as we're doing this podcast. I'm trying to do that alt spread thing on DK. I can only get uh, Illinois down to nine because it moved up. These lines have been jumping two or three points today. Dang, I believe in it at nine. I don't mind them at nine, but honestly, also you can wait a little bit because it's going to come back down. It it doesn't. It's not going to keep going up. But um, those are the picks. Dang. Uh, yeah, and we'll dude, and we'll, like, we'll like we'll post like a graphic of like our our, our picks for the weekend. Yeah, so, for those. But there will be there'll probably be a pick from me that is not. Like, it'll be on the it'll, it'll be on Instagram. Hopefully, yeah, it'll be on it. Instagram. Like I probably won't be able to put it on here. Uh, also, for those wondering, Frankie Diamonds over here has just been crushing baseball. Dude, let him know. Let him know. What about let tonight? What about tonight? How I have the two team parlay of the Phillies and the Mets. It's How are we killing? looking? It's well, the, the both teams were winning when I last checked. Let me check right now because the game should check be over. Right now. 
Mets winning 3-1 top of the nine. And then the Phillies won four zip. Wow. And, you know, I've been posting, I've been on the Steelers money line train for the preseason, both games in a row, uh, put a, made about $400 in two weekends just off preseason football. Steelers got three good quarterbacks and that's all you're looking for in preseason football. I I had a $50 ARB today because I got a hundred percent profit boost on DK and I put it on the Houston Astros to win. And then I went to win, win bet, and I put money on the twins and uh, it was like 150 and 124, and I won forty six dollars. Hey, can't go broke taking a profit. Can't go broke taking a profit. I I almost put it. I almost like profit boosted the Mets and like put all one hundred fifty dollars on them, You're but instead I was just like, let me just take this money. Scared money don't make money. No, it doesn't. And like I said, now we now that football series, you can stop betting baseball. You can come into the light again, which makes. But me I'm happy. good at baseball. You are good at it. You do love betting baseball. That's like me betting. Uh, God, I love betting like international soccer. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm a yeah. You really it. don't know what you're doing, but you'll come, up, dude. During the Olympics, the Winter Olympics, a couple years ago, or was it the summer? And no, it was the summer because there was like this bat. They go, you go, bro. You have to do this three team arb uh, with all the women's basketball groups. The lines are all off. Like oh, you were going, we crazy. won that. You were going crazy. Oh my god, we won that. Yeah, there was one site that had like Australia women's basketball was like completely flipped and we arbed the shit out of that. We won a couple hundred dollars off that. Yep. Also, Sophia Goja, uh, downhill skier, won me like $375 one time. So if I ever meet her, I'm going to I'm gonna buy her a drink. You don't know who I am. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't think she speaks English, but I just want to be like, I'm like, you don't know what you meant to me. And, and just be like, thank you for your downhill skiing. That is hilarious. Shout out, to, shout out Sophia Goja. Let's, let's, let's uh, get into guys being dudes. Bro, guys being dudes. I mean, and this is this isn't like we used to like to keep guys being dudes like kind of recapping our weekly monthly wins, but I think this is one where we're gonna kind of because this has been a two yearly win. This is a this is a win that's celebrating the pod. We wouldn't be here. Frank and I wouldn't know each other without the guys in this group chat. So Correct. a quick recap. Um, my cousin a with the marshal with a bunch of guys, a bunch of guys that he went to med school with. And, you know, before they were started to get into their real lives and everything, they said, let's have one final guy's trip. Yeah. And we decided to do it in my hometown of the Berg. And so we get these like nine guys together. None of us have really ever met. Um, we got to explain my origin, though, because oh, I'm yeah, friends with. Yeah. OK, let them know. Yeah. Tell them your friend, your friends with uh, your friends with the mastermind of the entire I'm friends group. With, of like, card. I am no joke, folks. I've known him since I was like elementary school age he's one of my closest friends literally the smartest dumb person or the dumbest smart person i can't figure it out i've ever met i I can't get a read on because that was the thing when yenzer first met this guy he's like i can't i can't read i can't the first time i ever met him was at a bar in marshall and like literally the first thing he ever said to me he was like he said do you want to go in the bathroom and hold each other's cocks that's the first thing he said and you're like I, i what am I supposed like, to do? Like, I'm usually the one in the group. They're like, oh, you're going to be my buddy. He's off the wall. I cannot. I mean, this guy, we got to give him a name. We're not going to, we're not going to drop his real name. We'll just call him. Why not W? Why not W? W work? Like George W. Bush. All right. W. Yeah. Like George W. We'll just call him. We'll call him W. W. But so Frankie Dimes was friends with him. Yeah. He was friends with all the doctors. We came to Pittsburgh. And Which is all also of us where just, my best friend lives. Yeah. Also another guy in the group chat. We're not going to, we're not going to drop GC names unless we get authorization. Right. But. Um, got to protect, protect the boys, but we met these dudes. Would you say within 30 minutes, it was like, these are my dudes. These are my yeah. dogs. Well, like, it started, it started, it was before that, like our, yeah. the inception of the group, that's twice I've used oh. that word. The inception of this group, like was when was I was, group chat? was sending hype videos. I was sending yeah. edits. Oh, I, I was sending video edits. Yeah. So he was sending videos, which we got to post this on the DJ NYC page. We don't have to, they were good. Some I got to find the old Ricky Bobby so one. It was so good. The Ricky Bobby one was so funny, but so like before we met each other, we're in this group chat. We're just like hyping each other up. And when we met each other, it was like we were boys for like 10 years. Oh yeah. And we just went out that weekend. We were drinking. We were chasing gambling. skirt. We were having, dude, gambling. Oh my, like just the absolute time of our lives. And, um, and that kind of leads us into the guys being dudes. We this also like, matched at Eddie V's. So we got to go. So all these, okay. If you know anything about med school, whenever they go out, they go to match week. Um, and that's where they find out where they're going to going. So we went to, we went off to, oh, where we go to, uh, Eddie V's, right? Eddie V's. 
Eddie V's. So we went out to Eddie V's, nice little steak place in Pittsburgh. And it's all of us. It's like these 10 guys. And like Eddie V's, nice guys place at this Canadian nice home. restaurant. Mind you, I'm wearing a Canadian tuxedo. Oh, I forgot <laughs> about that. You're looking like John Mellencamp. He's in a Canadian tuxedo. But I it looks like this nice scene. restaurant. I'm literally John Cougar Mellencamp. Oh, bro. It looks like the scene in old school. They're just all walking in unison in this place. And dude, <laughs> and dude, I mean, it's like me. It's my cousin. We're some unit. It's like this ragtag group of dudes. And we walk in. And I'm already like, okay, I'm just going to, I was fucked up. Like I was really messed up. Yeah. And so like they come, you know, they come like a nice restaurant. Like, you know, what are you guys celebrating today? Is it an anniversary? Is this? And so I was trying to say that all of these guys matched and got into med school. So the, the, <laughs> the waitress comes over and she's like, what brings you gentlemen in today? And I was like, we all matched. And she was like, what? And she like walked away and all, everybody started dying. And she comes back and I was like, no, no, I think I need to explain this. I was like, they all matched into med school. She was like, oh my God. She's like, I thought it was like a massive grinder date. And I'm like, it probably didn't help because the entire time we're like looking at our one buddy and we're just like, we're just like looking at him and we're like, he's so hot. Look at how cute he is. He's Such so a little cute. tweak body. Little twink. He's, he's a little cute. tweak body. And he's like, stop it, stop it. We're like, you're so, we're like, if we all, like, don't worry. If we all went on a desert island, we'd be okay with you here. But, and, <laughs> and so after that, like dude, that just, Frankie had a little panic attack at I the did. restaurant, but we I worked did. through it. I we did. talked you through it. The lobster See, mac. Lobster, oh my God, the lobster mac. See, in a normal friend group, we, oh, and then, so I was on, I was on some substances and our buddy, the, the little twink guy, he looked at me and this is when I was gone. I was so messed up. I was so messed up. He looks at me, he went on his iPhone. Stop. He showed me. We have to cut. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay. So he went on his iPhone. Twink guy? He is a little twink. I love him. But he went on his iPhone and he showed me a calendar that said it was the year 2080. And I was started freaking out. And while I was freaking out, while I was having like this panic attack, he looks at me dead in the eyes and goes, everybody you know is dead. <laughs> and I started having, freaking the fuck out at this restaurant. I was like hyperventilating about to cry at this restaurant because oh he was God. like, so he's like, everybody you know is dead. And um, he, he's cropped out, but you can see happy, happy new year 2080. Yeah, you can see Happy New Year 2080. I'm holding up the phone. And then this and is this is my favorite part of it. Here is Yenzer <laughs> getting told it's 2080 and he's been in a coma for like 40 years and he checks his own heartbeat and we have this picture. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, am I alive right now? <laughs> That's Yenzer checking to see if he is on this planet. <laughs> Listen, oh my okay. God. That's so okay. good. Stay sober. It's cool. You don't need to. You don't need to. You don't need to have substance to have a good time. Okay. You can just get high on life. But um, that was so. That was that weekend. But but here's what we're trying to do. So we just met these guys, and we have been in the same group chat for two years ever since. Yeah. And what, what kind of reminded me of this was uh, we, we, you were talking about Big Cat earlier in the show, right? Also, Barstool, here, here's Barstool, me Big in Cat. the Canadian tuxedo at the very nice restaurant. Dude, you look so good in that Canadian tuxedo. Thanks, babe. But. Here's what made me think about this. And he tweeted this out. And I'm like, I couldn't have sent out a better tweet. But Big Cat tweeted out this a long time ago. Okay. says, I'm just going to read a tweet because that's a great podcast. Read it, read he said, it, read I'm going to group text with 12 men. Every day, everybody checks in. We share gambling picks and stupid hypotheticals. We make fun of each other until someone's feelings gets hurt. They're my best friends. Yeah. And I mean, I can't even like, you go in this group chat, you will get bullied relentlessly. Like the worst pictures you put, if you post your girl on Instagram, we're going in on your girl. If you put your sister on Instagram, we're going in on your sister. We're, like We're going in. Bro, like I have to think before I post something on Instagram, I'm like, I know this is going to get back to the group chat. And like within two seconds, there's going to be like a cock edited somewhere into my yeah, face. No, a lot and of phallic objects, a lot of phallic. You have to like watch where you put your hands on Instagram. I just keep them by yeah. my side. If your hands are yeah. raised at all up here, that's the danger zone. You're gonna get you're I've gonna actually, get a piece in your in, put in your hand. I've stopped eating cylindrical foods from now on. I won't He's eat a baguette. I won't. I won't like. I drink beers like this, like this now. You know, I'm like trying to like get them on the side, and I'm sure that's gonna get screen grabbed by by somebody in the group like immediately. And it's gonna be God, it's gonna be a veiny one too. I just know that. But <laughs> um, but but what it is, it's like, and we were kind of talking about like, and listen, this isn't slam in therapy because if listen, if you're going to therapy, I don't care. Work on yourself. But it's like. I feel like I go to this group chat every day and I feel like that's my daily therapy because I'm like, you're talking to your boys, you're laughing. It's always just like an endorphin yeah. dump because like there's no stress. Like no. all the dudes are in there just busting balls. And it's like, 
how every time you like listen when the is there any feel, better feeling than when the group chat's buzzing when when we get on a topic or something like that first off the group chat i'm, I'm sort of the ken burns of our group I, I take like our group chat name changes every two days and we always yeah. have different topics to talk about. And like the topics that we really go in on, I make note about it in detail as to what it was when, when that group chat gets rolling, it's just like feeding Steph when he's hot. It's just like, he ain't gonna miss bro. And I mean, it, it's just like, you'll be at work and like the group chat, like you'll just like go do something and you come back and there's like 63 messages. You're like, what happened? And right. you're just scrolling but, through. But it's not like group chats where you're like, oh, 63 messages. It's like, oh my God, no. I can't. It's like a new season just dropped and I get to yeah. benefit. It, dude, that's a hundred. Dude, that's so right. And it's just like, and it's all these guys and it's like guys from different walks of life. It's all these dudes. Like yeah, none yeah. of us really have anything in common. And it's just like, other than we just, you know, we love guys being dudes. Like, yeah, some of us, some them. of us are are doctors some of us yes. are jewish some of us are twinks some of us, some are, us are twinks yeah yenzers yeah some of us some are yenzers and some of us are dads we have yeah plural, there's plural dads in the group. dads in the group and some of us are reminded in the group that we'll never be fathers and it hurts a little bit and but, I'm, you know, sorry that that, I'm sorry that that happened to you listen the shoe fits okay yeah. but and, and what i was saying is and this kind of leads us not to step on broad corner but it's like why do girls like guys that are dicks to them? And why do guys like girls that are like kind of nice? It's like, we, we get it. You always want to go for what you don't have at home. Yep. If I want to, if I want to go talk to somebody, I can go jump in the group chat and get absolutely obliterated, roasted for like 30 minutes. Yeah. And dude, that shit keeps you humble. You know that Kanye is not in a group chat. No. Like, you no know, one, no, no one, one checks him. No one checks him. You got to no keep it. No, one one no one's there to check him. I get checked every day. If somebody posts a picture of me and it even looks a little bit bad, it's going to get checked. Yep. And that shit keeps you humble. And that's because your boys love you. And it's like, that's why girls, dude, you ever seen a girl's group chat? Like their friend will like post it's a picture. Positive. And it's like 30 it's girls. Like, positivity. Yeah. There's and that. And none of them mean that shit. Like if, if I'm in the group chat and I'm like, Frankie Dimes, I love you, buddy. That means I do. I'm not yeah. just saying that. Yeah. Like if, and that's why it's so great. Like we'll share, like, obviously we share hookup stories. We do the hookup stats. We do the uh, yeah. the post game report. Yeah, the post game, post game report. report's great. Yeah, post game report's um, great. The post game report. Uh, I remember. I remember. I think the one was like uh, six six Oreos crushed shirtless in her downstairs basement. <laughs> we gave the whole rundown. <laughs> mine, like, mine was mine was uh, seven and one thirds innings. Uh, don't the- even don't. No, we can't step on that right now. That's right, for right. a different episode. Yeah, that that one's well, honestly, I know that exactly that episode, where you're going. That episode needs to get right. That that one's going behind a paywall. If I reveal that, oh, you know, that's the, the paylocity of the uh, or the, the paylocity. The paywall got paylocity. When Yenzer, when I have to call the bullpen and have Yenzer. Oh my God, me and Frankie. That's a that's a whole. That'll be a that'll be a guys being dudes. That'll be that'll be behind a paywall. There's no the, way. Frankie there's no way I'm putting that out to the general public. <laughs> How do Frankie going seven and two thirds and me coming in and just slamming that door behind him? Go hit the showers, kid. Long story, long story short, I can't close games out in a particular way. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. Most of the time. And then Yenzer, it's just one pitch fastball. Eric Gagne. I'm coming in for about, listen, that I'm coming in. Throat. I just laugh so hard there. My throat. Dude. I'm just coming out and I'm just throwing heater, heater. I'm giving you my best stuff and I'm only in there. I'm only in there for like one and two thirds. And if I go one and two thirds, I'm not pitching for four nights. Yeah. I'm okay. like methodical. I'm like, okay, this corner, yeah. this corner, new pitch. Okay. Pitch them backwards. How are we feeling off balance in and out? And then it's like, he's never going to get the complete game. But I mean, I, I, and, and that's what I'm talking about. It's just like, like shit like that comes out, but like, I don't want to be too, like, I don't want to be like too, you know, like say stuff that like, Oh, I don't want to be too, you know, Oh, I'm really, this really has touched me. But like, dude, the group chat, it saves your life. Like wow, whenever man. you're having a bad day, the group chat's there. Yeah, whenever man. you're having a good chat, the group chat is there to celebrate your victories. Yeah. When and I was homeless, to- when I was homeless, W like stole the reins of being the fantasy football commissioner from me. And, and, <laughs> right. and he goes, he said, he said our commissioner can't be homeless. <laughs> yeah. I was like, like, that's funny, bro. Like, <laughs> like getting that's funny. Like, and like, and that's what I'm saying. It's just like, and I'm in a like we're in a gambling group chat. I'm sure you're in a few ones that I'm in, but it's just like that group chat that we're in is so electric and it's so funny. I love those and guys, like, man. I love those guys. I, I want to take a men's retreat every year. I want to go to the waste yeah. management this year. Oh, that's the plan for this year. That'll be a that'll be a DJ NYC live on tour. Yeah. But yo, the tour would be crazy. The bus? It'd be like the, the N1 mixtape tour bus. 
I'd be Escalade getting off. <laughs> I'd be half, half man, man, half amazing. amazing. Yeah. Half man. Did we just professor. say that at the same time? We did. So we said it at the exact same time. Bro. You can tell Frank and I watch the same docs together. Dude, I'm going to watch the uh, new one they would just put on Netflix after this. I love but, you, man. I love doing this show. I love you, and I love you too, buddy. Yeah. But and that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's it's one of those things where like we're gonna have a lot more group chat stories once yeah. we we got to get clearances from the guys to tell these stories because I'm sure there's gonna be wives, girlfriends, and families listening. Um, so we don't want to blow up too many people's spots. That's not what the group chat's about. It's no. about anonymity. It's about keeping it keeping it in the clubhouse. As we it say. stays in the clubhouse. I'm, yeah, get, I'm getting exactly. shirts made for our, our next men's retreat, and I'm gonna say like a uh, players only meeting on and on yeah. the back it says it stays in the clubhouse. Bro, put me down for ten of those. Copy that. I want one in every color, but I mean, I think that's, I think that's all I got for today. Frankie dimes. I think we had a good pod. We're hitting right on that hour part yeah. and we got some winners. We got a little group chat talk. And I think the biggest thing we can take away from this is dude, if you're not in a group chat, get your boys together, get your boys. You haven't reached out to in a couple of years, put them in the group chat. Not everyone has to come and check in every day, but it's a good way. You know, you're getting older. Everyone moves across the country. It's hard to yeah. keep in touch with it's your great boys. To keep in touch, man. And the group chat's the way to do it. And like I said, it'll keep you humble. It'll keep you checked. And if you do, like before I post something online, I'm like, is somebody going to say this is some dumb shit? Yeah. And am I going to get crushed for it? And that saved me from posting some stupid shit. Think before and, you uh, post. Think before you post. And that's that's pretty good in this uh, in this social media world. I like that. But I like that. If you can't change your girl, change your girl. You change your girl what do you want to end it on, buddy? I mean, I just want to end it on, let's get that money. Please get those bets in. Uh, next week is week one, and we have a lot of games. Um, we're going to have a lot of picks, but to everybody that is liking the pod, sharing the pod, telling a friend, um, you know, to all the people in my life that are telling me, Hey, when's the episode drop? And you don't know how much that means to me. We really appreciate bringing you guys content. Yeah. And, you know, we work hard to, you know, get you guys winners. And now we're going to see if what we're doing works because, you know, numbers don't lie, buddy. People lie. Numbers won't. No doubt. Night, Frankie Downs. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Peace.